the thing the right way? Good. Is it ready? Yep. Okay, now, more about the Rejuvelac I forgot to mention and the... Hey, children. I like that. Children. Hush. One thing to mention about the Rejuvelac is, back to this, there has to be little tiny tails growing on the grain, and that happens after uh, 48 hours. Or maybe 36 hours. But when you see little tiny tails, it's ready. When it's upside down, the little tails will be poking through the screen. And you have to just hit them until they come down. And then you add water to the jar. Just keep the seeds in the jar. Add water all the way to the top. And then you put it in your lineup over here. So, forgot to mention that. Also, there was something else. This is, a lot of people take digestive enzymes and probiotics, which they, a good digestive enzyme probiotic costs between $20 and $30. And this is for pennies, and it's better than all of that. And what I'm doing, we all drink it every single morning along with our cod liver oil. <laughs> oh, another vitamin I forgot to mention. This is loaded with vitamin K2, which is really, really good for you. Nathan, come and drink yours. Nathan? All right, come on. has a lemony flavor. It should taste like lemon. And it's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now for this, I used to make Essing bread. And I will save this for mom when she gets home. I used to make Essing bread. And I would take the grain. And if you look at the grain in there, you'll see little tiny tails growing. There's little tiny tails growing, but I would grow it, and I would make essing bread without fermenting it. Dad. What? Uh, do you want to say something? How about we? How about we make a video of me after this video? All right, we'll about do that. This week. Okay. Now the reason you want to ferment. Um, oh, this is what I noticed when we would used to make Essene bread before without fermenting it. Um, we, everybody had a lot of gas. It was just terrible. <laughs> but when we make Essene bread from the fermented grain, there's very minimal gas. So that tells me that this is that we're on the right track. I mean, the gas with. Um, making essing bread out of unfermented grain, the gas was just horrible. It was just a lot. Worse than beans. So, um, what we do here is we... Let's see, is there anything else? Oh, okay, another thing about the fermented essing bread. The, in all grains, there's what's called phytic acid. Phytic acid will leach minerals out of your teeth. Selfie, come on, pop down. I don't need competition. The grain, the, any grain is, is loaded with phytic acid. So is our legumes and nuts. They have a lot of phytic acid in them. Phytic acid will bind to the calcium and it'll actually leach it out of your teeth so that and out of your bones so if you eat a lot of whole wheat bread like we did growing up you're going to have a lot of cavities so to counteract that you have to ferment your grains and by in the fermentation process phytase is created and phytase neutralizes the phytic acid so that it doesn't have the devastating effect on your teeth that regular grains have. So that's what I wanted to say. So the first thing I do is we get some salt and cayenne pepper. 
pepper. Is that cayenne? I think that's cayenne. There's the salt, Himalayan salt. No, that's not cayenne. No, that is not cayenne. Himalayan. That's not cayenne. Maybe cayenne's up here. Oh, here it is. Cayenne pepper, onion powder, salt, cayenne pepper, onion powder, rosemary, and you'll be proud of me, Tara. I'm shutting the doors to the cupboards. <laughs> and sage. Is that sage? No, that's, no, that's oregano. Get some sage. So these five things I put in the essing bread. First thing we do, we take a half a teaspoon of salt, then a teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Let me say one thing about the cayenne pepper. We like to put jam on and on the bread after it's done and thick slabs of butter. And the cayenne pepper gives the jam a bite. It's really good. It's kind of like when you put cayenne pepper in your chocolate. I know the jam's not good for your teeth, but we use jam once in a while. Rosemary. How much rosemary? One teaspoon of rosemary and a teaspoon of sage. Okay, go ahead and pause the video while I put 